exit. Today I'd like to show you something really cool. This is the AR drone from Parrot. Um, many of you have already seen some of the videos that I've done with the AR drone. And uh, what's cool about this is it's not just a uh, multi-rotor helicopter, it's not just a quadcopter, but it's actually an intelligent quadcopter in the sense that it has an onboard computer running Linux and uses a RISC processor and it actually has processing capability uh, and to do identification and things like that. So it's a pretty cool device. They market this thing as a toy, but uh, the capabilities of this thing is far, far beyond a toy. So it's a really cool platform to do testing and experimentation with. And uh, today I want to show you a couple things that are really cool. One of the things that's really cool, when the uh, AR drone first came out, it was marketed specifically to work with iPhones. That's the controller for it. There wasn't a standard RC controller. It actually ran off your iPhone which is pretty cool, and a lot of people use that. But uh, some of us aren't actually iPhone users or iPhone owners. In fact, I personally like the Android phone, and uh, so I was very uh, interested to see if there would be a way to port this or get it to work on an Android phone, and there's been quite a few developers working on it, and recently, several of them actually did produce an Android application that will run on your Android phone that will control the uh, AR drone. One in particular, by the name of Shell Schrader, and he has created what I think currently is one of the best applications for Android for the uh, uh, AR drone. And the reason that I think that is because there's some inherent capability in this device that really wasn't exploited when it first came out. And uh, one of the things that I'm most excited about is it does something called object tracking. And object tracking means that this drone, with the right software, can actually track an object and follow it. It can move and it actually does that through the forward facing camera, which is pretty incredible. For a device this size, um, for what's something that's really marketed as a toy. So very, very cool. We're very early days in this and I'm sure it'll get better. There'll be a lot of applications out there to do this. But I wanted to show you guys because this is something that really gets me excited when I see it because the possibilities are pretty incredible. So I'm going to show you, first of all, just controlling the drone with my Android, and then we're going to turn on object tracking, and I'm going to actually show you, I'm going to set the phone down, and I'm going to let the drone follow an object, so that you can see it autonomously, or automatically by itself, following an object around, just using the processing power that's built into the computer that's already on board with this thing. So here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is actually put the battery in the AR drone and get it booting up, because remember, it's a computer, it needs to boot up. So this is the standard AR drone battery. I put a Dean's plug on it just because I like Dean's connections. And then I'm going to turn on my Android phone. And we're going to go to settings, wireless. Make sure you can see this on the screen. We're gonna go to Wi-Fi. And notice now there is a uh, AR drone Wi-Fi that's available. It's an ad hoc connection, and I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. As you see, it's obtaining an IP address. And there it goes. It's connected. All right. So now that we've gotten connected, I'm going to back out of this, and we'll start up the application that's called AR Pro. There it is. And we're going to connect to the drone. It found the drone. It's connecting. And guess what? We can now see what the drone sees. So you see that? I'm moving the drone. You can actually see the video. You can see the video on the phone following because it actually shows the video from the drone. So now I'm just going to fly it for just a minute for you, just to show you that it can be controlled with the, uh, with the Android. Okay. So using the Android phone, I'm going to uh, take off. And there you go. The drone is flying. I have all the normal controls. 
So we're inside the application. I'm going to turn on detection mode, which is disabled right now. I'm going to use the forward camera. So now it's on the forward camera. And the color that I'm going to detect is going to be blue. Okay. So now that I've got that set, I can go back to the main screen. You can see what the, the AR drone sees. And then I can actually turn on object tracking. Now at this point, if I actually show, can you see that? Can you see the little dot on the screen that's moving around? The AR drone is actually already tracking this outdoor shell that I'm holding up. So I'm going to go ahead and start it flying and then we're going to do some tracking. Okay, now we're trying something new. What I've done is I've mounted the outdoor hull on top of a little RC truck. In this case, it's actually on top of my Stampede 4x4. You can see I've got it mounted on top and I'm simulating another AR drone. And I have my drone tracking the other drone. So now we're going to drive the truck and have the AR drone follow it. 